Hey, we're team match musician Finn, Carlos, Xue Fei, and He. Welcome you to watch this video, and we're going to introduce you our design, the Music Masher. Our idea is created to assist children in exploring new ways to create music. Our concept is a combination of a few bespoke ideas, which come together to form a new interactive space. Within the soundscape, there are five cubes. These five cubes have different sensors that are used to control the sound output created in the space. Each of the cubes is visualized with a different color and has a different sensor placed into it. Depending on how many cubes are being used, there will be various different outputs and the board will change with different types of visualization. The piece of music is controllable by the cubes and this will allow for an elegant visualization of each of the cubes inputs and also enable children to create music in non-traditional ways. When it comes down to it, the experience should be a fun one where children or adults alike can come and interact with children learning new ways to make music that allows them to conceptualize sound and instrument patterns of a technical knowledge. Different interactive movements can trigger our music cubes and each action can activate the cube to generate different sounds. Children can throw, slap, shake it, and use your imaginations to make sounds through this cube. They can also put this cube into different environments to see what would happen to the sound, which can highly motivate them to create amazing music. This is our concept diagram and introduces our detailed technology of how to realize this idea. More detailed information will be shown on the website. The following video showcases our concept in its current form and final presentation. Basically, essentially, the video of the demo that Carlos is currently partaking in shows how the cube can be used to manipulate different parts of sound and use different actions to also be visualized. This creates the core basis of the soundscape formed. Then, in the final concept, you can add more cubes to the area and allow these cubes to simultaneously interact together and form a holistic part of the soundscape experience. We have code dedicated to each cube and each different type of sensor input and how it's visualized and how it sounds. Obviously the sound is more important, but the visual helps as a form of feedback to the user. Overall, this is a demonstration of what a soundscape could look like and can be used to conceptualize the idea that we have going forward.